have a live look at our CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam traffic eastbound on I-94 backing up at the Red River Bridge. Reports of an accident there. So if you're traveling in this direction, give yourself some extra time. Certainly not caused by weather today in the uh, Southern Valley. It's just been delightful with the temperature of 69. We're still at our high so far for the day. Winds are a bit breezy from the south, gusting to 24 miles per hour. Moorhead right now, a mild 66 degrees. In Grand Forks, we have some darker clouds looming overhead, 57 on the thermometer, so a little cooler there with winds from the north at about 15 miles per hour. Noticeably cooler along northeast portions of North Dakota. While we saw a lot of 60 to near 70 degree readings in the south, but we have changes taking place right now. Let's get to the radar and show you cloudy everywhere. And it does look like a band of showers that has been quite persistent in the northern valley is just now sneaking up into southern Manitoba. But it's this activity to our south that is pushing into our southern counties as we speak, and this will bring a chance of rain. So if you're in Langdon, Walhalla, showers are just now exiting your area. We'll have a chance at sprinkles, but by and large, things will be improving as far as the rainfall goes heading into your evening. But this is what's coming for our southern counties. Look at the oranges and reds. Heavy showers of rain pushing along the South Dakota border at this hour. Ellendale, all the way out towards uh, your neighbors just off to the west here. We'll see that chance in Forbes of some scattered showers of rain, even as we speak. And likely, this is going to be persistent for the next couple of days as we have some big changes in the jet stream taking place on the west coast. You can just see it sitting here and spinning and the energy from this will be passing into the central plains as we go through the next 24 hours. So get ready for changes is the moral of the story. This evening before bedtime, before 10 o'clock, our southeastern counties in North Dakota will have a chance at showers and all along Interstate 94, periods of moderate to heavy rain at times, uh, building up temperatures generally staying in the 50s, cooler up north as it has been all day, but your chance of rain diminishing toward the late night hours. As we go through and rain starting here after 8 o'clock at night, closer to 10, we'll have periods of rain during the overnight hours. And by daybreak, we'll have a few showers across portions of central and western Minnesota. But by and large, it'll be quieting down for many of our North Dakota viewers. Light winds, but they'll be from the north and we'll start off with temperatures in the 40s and 30s up north with clear skies. It's going to be a dry day, but gusty north winds will make it feel a little blustery for all of our northern communities. Midday temperatures rising to near 50 with the rain in our southeastern counties only. Otter Tail towards Wadena and Hubbard counties seeing a chance of sprinkles, as will Grant. This should dry up in the afternoon. It looks like a dry day part forecast for Fargo, Jamestown, and Valley City, as well as Lisbon. But temperatures have a chance at mid-50s again, above average, but with the winds, it will feel cooler. Here comes the cool punch of air as we head into Wednesday night, and that'll bring another chance of showers of both rain and even snow as we head into Thursday. Rainfall amounts over a quarter of an inch possible in isolated locations where those heavy showers or even rumbles of thunder persist. And then as we carry you through Thursday's forecast, here comes the cold air with a band of snow. Could accumulate a little bit out to the west, and temperatures will slip on down into the 30s and 40s across the region. Snowfall amounts could be an inch or so in spots, mainly out to the far west. So your planning forecast for tomorrow, 40s up north and out east, but a chance for near 50 degree weather down to the south in the afternoon. But if you get in that rain pocket, it'll be a little too wet to hit that 50 degree mark in places like Sisseton and possibly Fergus Falls. Cooler weather in Fargo, 45, and it does look like a chance for some showers of rain, maybe mixing with snow. A uh, chance for spotty flakes, but no significant accumulation on Friday. Cool to start the weekend, 43 on Sunday with a chance of sprinkles or flurries. And then finally, we break out of the cooler pattern. So hopefully you had a chance to get out and enjoy that weather out there today. It was just fantastic. Yeah, and again, get out tonight. Still nice. It is. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Why Campbell Soup Company 